Hello, welcome to Motor Point. I'm Tim, this is BMW M340D. It looks like a normal BMW 3 Series and smells like one as well, but it's an astonishingly fast diesel powered saloon capable of turning your insides to mush. It's a bit like putting Usain Bolt in a fat suit and sending him off to KFC to collect your family bucket. I think it's a cult classic car in the making and watch on to find out if it is. Do you know what this is? It's my motor point. I've been waiting at least 10 videos to do that and it was totally, totally worth it. Now, anyway, the three series is normally powered by a range of six cylinder and four cylinder petrol and diesel engines. This is a three liter diesel. However, it's got two turbochargers and that gives it 340 horsepower, which is lots. And it's got 700 Newton meters of torque. That is more low down shove than a cow charging you up the backside. It's the same amount as a Lamborghini Aventador from its six and a half litre V12. That is a hell of a lot of torque. And it's got four wheel drive as well. So it'll do 0 to 62 in 4.6 seconds. It is an astonishing amount of power in a saloon car, but when you close the bonnet, it just looks normal. Right, enough of that engine chat. Let's talk about the looks, because there are some key differences in the looks between this and your regular Commodore Garden 3 Series, mostly around the grille. It's kind of got this almost brushed bronzy chrome effect around here, and you've got these almost Y-shaped pieces all over this aerodynamic grille, which does open up as well for engine cooling. And you've got more aggressive bumpers down here as well. So if you see one of these behind you on the motorway, it's probably the police actually, and you should move over and stop speeding. There are some other subtle differences down the side. The M340D gets larger M Sport branded red brake calipers, which you might need because this weighs close to two tons. You can get it as a touring, that's an estate car to you and me. And that is perfect if you have a dog that needs to get to places really quickly. Now between the back wheels, you can't see this, but there is a limited slip differential, which is electrically controlled. So it will help you get more traction out of corners. And yes, it is four wheel drive, but if you switch the stability control off, BMW system does put most of the power to the back. So this will do skids in a car park. If you're a child, don't do it on the public road because that is naughty. Around the back, the M340D looks like a three series, apart from a slightly mystifying and rare M340D badge and an X-Drive badge to remind you that it's four wheel drive. And despite being four wheel drive and having that diff, the boot space is the same as a regular three series. So it's 480 liters in here, 500 in the estate version. I'm not gonna do the full motor point big boot challenge because it's getting hot. I'm getting sunburnt and it's not that sort of car, but look, I can whack that in there just fine. And a little carry on on top. So you can easily fit a family's worth of luggage in this and use it as your daily driver. But that's not the only practical thing about the M340D. We'll quickly show you the interior and then we'll hit the road. So can you fit an adult in the back of an M340D? Well, I'm six foot three, my knees fit, my feet fit, my head fits. I've just got plenty of room. I've got climate controls down here, which I wish were on because it's blooming sweltering. I've got a cup holder in the door pocket as well as a separate door pocket bit. And that is my driving position. So yeah, it's good. And because it's an M340D, I've got red and blue bits on my seat belts. What more do you need? Inside the M340D feels as posh as a three series gets, at least until you get to the M3. I've got a lovely steering wheel with gear shift paddles, a full digital dash, BMW's delicious iDrive system with Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, and you operate it using the iDrive knob down here, which just keeps your eyes on the road and it is really handy. I've got cubby holes here, I've got a wireless charger, I've got a USB, I've got a 12 volt, I've got cubbies down here, a USB-C in here just to keep it fresh, big door pockets with cup holders and special M340D seats with a cool texture on them that feels sporty and they're heated as well, which I definitely don't need today. In fact, I'm melting, let's hit the road. Right, let's go for a drive in the M340D and as soon as you sit in this, it feels sporty. Like a normal three series, you sit nice and low and the steering wheel comes out and down into your lap. So you can just get comfortable and you feel really part of the car and just getting up 30 miles an hour, you barely have to touch the accelerator. You just feel there's loads of torque available. So you're barely having to work the engine to get it moving. Yeah, this will be fast. I'm looking forward to this because it's so torquey, it's got power low down. So when you put your foot down from 40, it will get a move on as we'll see 
in a minute, but I'll just get the boring stuff out of the way now because this is based on a 3 Series, it's really easy to see out of. And the safety is really good. Five star Euro NCAP, it's got all the latest kit and caboodle with radars and sensors, lane keep assist, um, it can detect cyclists as well with the emergency braking, which is handy if you do a lot of driving around town. Yeah, you don't have to worry about that side of things. But that is quite boring to talk about. I want to put my foot down and get onto a dual carriageway. Right, let's accelerate from 30 up to 70 for a dual carriageway. Yeah, you get pushed back in your seat. It has got torque for days and it is helped by the fact this is a mild hybrid. It's got a small electric starter generator on the engine, which fills in torque in between gear changes and when you put your foot down from a standstill. It's just a tiny little bit of extra help. Now, see, this car is designed to sit at 155 miles an hour on the German autobahns, and I've done that in one of these, and it is super quiet and super stable considering you're doing ridiculous speed. So at 70, you barely hear anything outside. There's not much tire noise, not much wind noise. It just feels imperious is probably the word. But anyway, that's all very boring to talk about. Let's get some country roads and see how it tackles those. Right, I'm heading to my favorite country roads in the M340D, and so far I've been in comfort mode, which gives you a nice soft throttle response. It softens the adaptive dampers off, so the suspension can cope with these fen roads, but now I'm gonna to go to Sport Plus, which does the opposite of all that. It firms everything up and gives me this throttle response. Bloody hell, it is quick. And yeah, you can really feel the power being sent to the back out of corners. It fires you out of corners from the back axle and you can get it to move around a little bit. It's exciting. You don't drive many four-wheel drive cars this day that feel this exciting on the way out of the corner. And that's because this has got all that torque, that differential. It all comes together in one very entertaining package. Don't think my cameraman likes this, but I love it. Now, if it is too bumpy for you, you can stick it in individual mode, which I've configured to give you all the sporty stuff, but with the more comfortable suspension. And actually, there's a noticeable difference between them. But yeah, my God, the way this thing flies down the road, it kind of feels very stealthy in a way. It is low down shove. It's not screaming top end power like a petrol engine, but the front end feel through the steering, and the way it kicks the back out under the power just a little bit, you still feel in control. It is very, very fun to drive and the brakes are very good. It feels amazing. It's such a lovely package to drive. It feels sporty, it can be comfortable when you want it to be. It can blat down the motorway with your tunes on, with your car play, and no one would expect it to be anything like as entertaining or as fast as it is. I can even forgive it the slightly fake engine noise, but hey, it is a real six cylinder there. It's just a diesel. But anyway, enough hoonage. Let's go back to Motor Point for an outro. The BMW 3 Series remains a benchmark for a practical family car that's fun to drive. And this M340D version may be a bit of a niche choice, but it's got epic performance and security from that four-wheel drive system, but with surprisingly affordable running costs because it is still a diesel at the end of the day. It's just epic to drive. It's lovely in here and I, I just want one, frankly. Colt Classic, maybe not yet, but I think in a few years time, these will be highly desirable for people that do big distances and want some fun at the same time. Thank you all so much for watching. Please like this video if it has been helpful and remember to subscribe to Motorpoint's channel for more nearly new car reviews coming very soon. And do go to motorpoint.co.uk or head in store to see our range of used cars. See you next time.